Kalau mau bagi ni, yang boy. Sound, sound is okay. It doesn't really sound too thinny. It doesn't sound cheap. It's balanced in my opinion, but uh, personally, I would like a bit more bass. But that's because I'm coming from the Pro 6s, which is like a fake. AirPods alternative. So yeah, it's really good. It's balanced for the price. Well, actually, no, it's actually balanced. Even if it was more expensive, I wouldn't really think that was. It's actually good. Battery, battery is good. That's me in my whole workout, which is around two hours, full volume, max volume, and the case can pretty much charge it from zero to a hundred, probably more than once or twice. So it's actually good if you're going out or something. If you really want to be safe, you can bring the free charger that it comes with, which is like a short USB-C cable. So you're good to go anyway. Gaming, gaming is good too. Actually, the sound quality is pretty good. You can hear the footsteps. So FPS games are great because the delay is not that bad. I'll show a clip of me shooting something in Call of Duty, so you can judge for yourself how bad the delay is or how good the delay is. Touch controls. Touch controls are great because it's responsive enough where it's not too sensitive, but it's also not too responsive in a way. If that makes sense. that's fine. I would much rather prefer having a less responsive touch control rather than a more uh, sensitive one because it's sensitive. I've had an earbuds where just adjusting it pauses the music, so that's really bad. And this one is good. It only registered the touches here, so around this area and not on this stem so i'm touching it right now it's not doing anything but if i tap it here it will pause the music there's actually a slight delay around i'd say 0.5 seconds yeah that's uh, that's around 0.5 seconds of delay before the touch is recognized design design is subjective because some people might like a more simpler look so you know if something like the airpods uh, I personally am one of those, so I really, uh, well, I have it now, I don't really mind it now, but I would much rather prefer like an AirPods look, and I don't think there's a lot of people who would like this sort of look, because it's so fucking gamery and shit, and yeah, if you, if you like it, good for you, you can definitely buy it if you want to, it's actually... It's decent enough. I don't really care about the case too much. I much more rather care on the earbuds because that's the thing that goes to your ear and I prefer these types, so the ones with stems because it's easier to take off and to put on because you can just hold it here, put it on, right? Design subjective. Uh, what's great about it though, it's, it's type C and I have a type C phone so I can just want I just I can just bring one charger with me one cord and I'd be great and this one comes with a cord a short cord like I said and I can just bring that and I'm good to go with my phone as well comfort comfort is my only gripe with this because I I came from like I said the fake earbuds so my ear was a, was a, was used to something else so it was not a design like this where uh, I don't know what it, what these are called you know the soft ear soft tip ones this one yeah my my earbuds my first ones didn't really come with these so uh yeah i it took some time to getting used to thankfully i did have some uh spare ones lying around so i could just switch it if i want to but note that there are some tips that wouldn't really fit with this because i don't know <laughs> I don't really know. I, I don't know if there's a standard for these sort of things. But yeah, if you have replacement ones, that's good. 
sometimes the volume is not the same level or not not on the same level on both ears so what i would normally do is switch from the default one's game mode so i switch from game mode to music mode and there's only two modes by the way game mode and music mode uh the difference i don't i can't really hear that well i think game mode is more bass heavy while music mode is more treble heavy i'm not i'm not actually sure because I, I don't really mind which one i'm listening to because there's not really much differences and again i just use it to fix an issue which is when the volume is not the same so tapping it is kind of like resetting the, the device itself if that makes sense because if you tap it it's kind of it kind of changes the drivers to go to music mode or game mode and that fucking <laughs> that fixes my problem i guess so yeah disconnecting randomly is also an issue that you should be aware of but honestly i don't really experience it that much so i wouldn't really count on it as a problem but it is something to expect uh, usually it happens when your uh, earbuds is not fully charged so i'd recommend charging it before using it well it's gonna charge automatically anyway so yeah since we are on a topic of disconnection, yes, the connection sometimes becomes lost. That usually happens when I'm laying down and you know I'm, I'm moving side to side. Sometimes whichever one's on the pillow would disconnect, but I mean it wouldn't disconnect, but like it would lose signal. So well, the fix for that is just don't do that. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much you can do about it. Uh, it's cheap earphones. It doesn't really have that great of connection so you wouldn't don't expect it to be like if you do that it's gonna fucking sound great anyway well it's wireless so any interference with a signal will will interfere with the signal <laughs> final thoughts would i recommend it no <laughs> no if you can sque squeeze more in your budget i wouldn't really recommend it i think buying a branded one would be a greater choice because i have two earbuds now both of them are working but the pro 6s which is the first one that i had is actually pretty bad with battery and this one is good with battery but i prefer the sound of the pro 6s more because it's more bass heavy is its personal preference this one is more balanced like i said it's more balanced so if you like that you can definitely get this one and yeah if you can get if you can squeeze more into your budget i would definitely definitely recommend buying a branded one because if you buy a branded one that means you wouldn't really have to worry about which batch you got because i've had two of these one was in white and one is this one it's black and the white one had the problem with its case so are you actually that's actually the second time i've had a problem with a white tws so I've had one before in 2020, not this one, so yeah, I'll just buy the black one to be honest because the black one usually lasts much longer and that's also the case with my previous one. So I don't really know if there's a specific to that. Maybe the black one is the more original one and the white one is like, you know, it's a, another variant of the black one. So there could be more issues with those, but I'm not really sure how it is with the factories and all. So yeah, but if this is all you can afford, 350 pesos, including shipping, if that's you can afford, I think it's a good option too, because I don't really have any regret with these. If I didn't have my Pro 6S in the first place, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really have any gripe with this, because this one sounds good, and for the price, it's really good. It's Type C as well. Buy it, I guess. Uh, I'll link the shopping link where I bought this from uh, uh, the shop name is a fashion me I believe uh, they really they have great service because they uh, they replaced mine even though I uh, I've clicked the confirm order in Shopee which is something that that makes it so that you can't really have a return option or refund option on the order itself but i messaged them i asked them if i could still get a refund they told me to just send proof that it was broken and i did it was over in a matter of two days and after that i got i got the confirmation that they will send me a new one they gave me a voucher link and what i did was i sent an offer and currently 
pay for this for one peso for zero pesos so I paid for it for one peso and yeah they accepted it the whole total bill was 41 pesos including ship so yeah the only thing I paid for was shipping and yeah that's really good good service thanks for watching subscribe and listen to my boy boy fever revoy <laughs> It sounds the same, but like it spells the same. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Dahil nagawa ko ang yung litrato panigurado hindi lang isang salita ang masasabi ng iba. Positibo man o negatibo sa kaibigan o kahit kanino, lagi mo sa nang tatandaan na mahal kita magpakailan.